Hello and welcome to Firewall Management 201. I'm Professor Wool and today we're going to be talking about the challenges of migrating servers to a new virtual data center. So what are we talking about? Assume we have an old existing physical data center in black over here and we have this one server that we want to migrate to our new virtual environment in a private cloud. How would we go about doing that? Well the first steps are easy enough. The IT department will create a clone of the old server in the new virtualized environment and they would give it a new IP address. And Now all we need to do is make sure that all the traffic that came to that old server is now going to go to the new server uh, and we're good to go. The trouble is that that's easier said than done. What are the problems? Well, most organizations don't keep very, very good records of what every server does. It's not even obvious what applications really use that old server and what types of traffic have to reach that server or exit from it. Maybe there is some information, but it might be inaccurate, out of date, or maybe it's non-existent entirely. So how would we go about making sure that all the necessary traffic is really allowed to go where it needs to go to the new clone? Well, here's one idea how we could achieve that task. We can use the firewall rules themselves as a form of documentation. After all, any application that relied on the old physical server is working just fine, which means that all the traffic that it needs, either reaching the old server or emanating from the old server, all that old traffic is allowed by the firewall policies already. So there are rules in the firewalls that support precisely the types of traffic that we care about when we're migrating this one server. Once we've made that observation, we have a blueprint for a solution. What we, what we can do is we can search the firewall policies across the whole estate and discover all the rules where the server that we are migrating is being referenced. Here, for instance, we can, we can see that there is a rule allowing traffic from these green desktops on the left to reach the server that we care about through firewall number one. So this is traffic going this way. And there is also traffic on so that is allowed by some other firewall, firewall number two. And it's allowing traffic to go from that old server to a database like this. Once we've identified these relevant rules, what we can do is we can take the IP address of the virtualized copy and write it right next to all the references to the old server and over here as well. We can modify these firewall policies so that wherever the old IP address is written, we have another IP address right next to it of the virtualized copy. Once these changes are applied to the firewall policies, we are assured that all the traffic that used to travel to and from the old physical server is now going to be allowed when it tries to reach the new virtualized copy. And when that's the case, when that's done, we can tell the IT department to reconfigure all the other endpoints such as the databases and the desktops to refer to the new virtualized copy and start communicating this way and this way. And once the application is tested and everything functions normally, we can declare victory and we have, in fact, migrated the server. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and decommission the old server and we can eliminate all reference to the old IP addresses from the firewall rules and we can move on to our next task. That's it for what we have today. Thank you for your attention and see you all next time in the next class.